Well, <laughs> let's see if you still feel that same way about them receivers, man. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Downs with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about last night's Sunday night football matchup as you had the Baltimore Ravens beating the Buffalo Bills 35-10. to um, before I get into this video, man, for anyone, if you want to donate to the channel, follow me on social media. Also, I co-host a sports talk radio show every Sunday. All that information will be down in the description box. Um, if you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and bell notification button. And uh, for all my people, man, y'all like this video and share it with your folks. Wow. <laughs> Um, I felt like Baltimore would win this game because I felt like Derrick Henry, because like I said, man, in my preview video, I always just had visions of Derrick Henry just running through Buffalo, man. And I just felt he was going to do it again. Lo and behold, first play 87 yards, man. 87 yards, man. This guy, he loves seeing the Buffalo Bills, man. Um, but a big day for Derrick Henry. Really good, good performance by the Ravens, man. Um, Derrick Henry ran hard. Um, he showed why Baltimore brought him there. Lamar Jackson was really efficient throwing the football. Uh, just as hell, man. That little cat is quick, man. Uh, they got a really, really nice one-two punch between, you know, Derrick Henry and Justice Hill. Um, and, you know, the receivers, you know, were relatively quiet, but they're just enough, man. You know, the Aguilars, Batemans, and Flowers. Um, and defensively, man, they really just swallowed Buffalo up, man. Besides letting... You know, a receiver get behind the defense one on one play pretty much. Uh, they was dominant, man. And um, look, for uh, Buffalo, hey, man, Josh Allen, I mean, hey, great players are great players, man. You know, Stephon Diggs, who, by the way, scored a touchdown for Houston yesterday in the game they won. He took a little shot at Diggs, man, after they beat Jacksonville, talking about how great it is to have a bunch of receivers that don't care about stats, numbers, and all that and just want the ball. Well, one thing we know about Stephon Diggs, man, when it gets real for the most part, he steps up as a number one wide receiver. Buffalo don't have a number one wide receiver. And look, shout out to my dog, Keon Coleman, Opelousas, Louisiana. Love him, rooting for him to do well. But, bro, you got to make that catch, man. Like that that catch on the side, Diggs would have caught that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to make that catch, man. And, um... Buffalo got exposed for not having no alpha wide receivers. And it's not just Diggs, Gabe Davis as well. Those are two wide receivers who played a lot of big time, you know, meaningful football for Buffalo. And the young guys just didn't step up last night. They, they went up against a good secondary and got physical, you know, and got then they got muscled up. You know, Buff Baltimore was physical with them. So, um, you know, we're going to see how they adjust going forward. And obviously, they're still a really good team, of course. But um, really, really impressive win for the Baltimore Ravens, man, as they dominated this ball game um, behind Derrick Henry. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.